This is a short video about insulin dose calculation using basal bolus regimen, also known as MDIs or multiple daily injections regimen, which is a preferred regimen used for good basal blood sugar control and good postprandial blood sugar control, especially in type 1 diabetes. It offers more flexibility over the time and quantity of each meal. We'll talk about how to initiate the dose and how to titrate them. The total dose required per day is 0.3 to 0.7 units per kilogram of body weight, which gets divided into multiple doses, where 50% of the total dose is given as basal insulin, which is a single dose long-acting insulin, taken two hours after the dinner at around 10 p.m. And the other 50% as prandial insulin taken as three divided doses 30 minutes before each meal. For example, a patient of 60 kg of body weight requires 0.3 multiplied by 60 gives you 18 units, which is the total dose required per day, of which half is basal insulin. So 18 divided by 2 gives you 9 units. And the prescription goes this way. Injection glargin, which is a long-acting insulin and comes in brands like Lantus or Bacillot, given subcutaneously at 10 p.m. The other half is divided into three equal parts, so 9 divided by 3 gives you 3 units, and we prescribe injection regular human insulin, which is a short-acting insulin, comes in brands like Human Actrapid, given subcutaneously 30 minutes before breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now you need to titrate the dose according to the blood sugar values monitored ideally more than four times a day, and it's always going to be a trial and error method according to how the patient responds to insulin. You can increase the dose by one unit for every 30 to 60 mg per deciliter over the preprandial glucose target. For example, with the present insulin dose, if the preprandial blood sugar level was 200 mg per deciliter and our target is 120 mg per deciliter, add two units to the existing three units of insulin. So we titrate to five units. And to titrate the basal insulin dose, consider comparing the fasting blood sugar value to the other GRBS values monitored throughout the day and titrate accordingly. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.